Hey guys, Tomboy601 and solar generators, they can be incredibly expensive, but incredibly useful tools. Today we're going to sort of build our own using bits and bobs off the shelf and uh, basically get one for a third of the price of what any of the big guys would charge. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned. So first things first, what is a solar generator? A solar generator it comes in two parts. The first one is the solar panel, the photovoltaic cells, if you will. Um, they can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. The important bit is that they take energy from the sun and convert it into some kind of current. But usually that current that comes off the solar cell or off the photovoltaic cell, off the solar panel, isn't that useful. And that's where um, some sort of inverter and that's where the solar generator comes into place. Now what a solar generator is, is it's usually some sort of box, um, can be come in many sizes. The bulk, the majority of the price that you're paying for in a solar generator is going to be the batteries that's inside of it. What happens is energy comes in from the photovoltaic cells from the solar panel and goes through an inverter. The inverter changes it into a uh, current, a voltage that is able to be stored in the batteries. And then at some point you can come along and well, activate your solar generator to pull the stored energy that's inside of them. Usually uh, what you can also do is feed energy into the solar generator and kind of pull it back out at the same time. But that uh, gets into whether you have an inverter being able to be pulling double duty or not. So with all of that said, what does it take to buy? How much does a, a solar generator off the shelf end up costing you? Well, um, I did a little bit of digging. I think one of the most popular brands out there is Jackery. So the cheapest system Jackery has right now is the Jackery Solar Gener Generator 500. It is everything you sort of need in for a solar generator. It comes with the solar panel, comes with the battery, comes with the inverter, all that good jazz. And it's gonna cost you around $800, which I don't know about you, but to me, that's a pretty penny that I don't like all spending all at the same time. Uh, what are you sort of getting for that cost? Well, you're looking at a 518 watt hour capacity. That's how much battery you have in there. And the important thing, and this is gonna be the thing that uh, really sets all sorts of generators apart is the inverter within. It has a inverter that is capable of doing about 500 watts. Now, if you don't speak electricity like me, uh, don't worry, we, we can go ahead and kind of talk through that. Basically, the hotter things get, the more energy things require, they require more watts. Sometimes things like refrigerators, fridges, they take a ton of power to, to start up um, and they can end up blowing off, blowing up or you know cutting out the circuits of smaller inverters. So uh, just kind of be prepared for what you need. So that Jackery generator, like we said, it has a 500 watt inverter, but to me personally, um, I think it's important to look at what do you really need the solar generator for? Um, personally here, uh, I live in Florida. The purpose or the, my desire for wanting a solar generator is mainly for the hurricane season. I wanna be able to uh, charge, have some sort of power that is auto replenishing when we don't have power after a storm. Um, and I want that to be able to charge my devices, uh, maybe be able to run a small TV and a powered antenna in case we have, uh, if, we, if we lose power during the storm so I can kind of maintain, see what's going on as far as something a little bit better than a weather radio. So there's, you know, a picture I can watch the storm that <laughs> that is coming. Uh, but for me, the other reason this really works and the solution that we're gonna go down really works for me is because, well, my planned usage isn't just to use the little, to use the solar generator as the power source. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's a certain green tool that I uh, know and love, uh, the good old Ryobi. And you may have something similar if you are uh, someone who has good tools, but with Ryobi uh, in their bountiful uh, power options or accessory options, they do actually have two sorts of inverters that they sell where you can plug their batteries in and be able to run electronics off of these two batteries. The first one is going to be <laughs> the big guy right here. This is a 300 watt inverter for their 40 volt batteries. I have a ton of these because these run all of my yards, uh, all of my like yard care, my lawnmower, all of that good jazz. 
So I have a ton of these and in, in, in actuality, sort of my upgrade plan from here is Ryobi sells an 1800 watt uh, one that you can plug four of their large 40 volt batteries into. Um, so the, the end goal is, you know, eventually being able to move on and use that. But uh, right now I'm a big believer in sort of slowly build up what you need. And as you build up and build into it, you can spend just little chunks of money at the time. Yes, you may end up spending more time, uh, more money overall, but I think it's important because it kind of lets you auto-correct, find things that don't necessarily work for you and not invest uh, money in things that don't work and kind of tailor the solution to you. The other inverter that Ryobi sells is this little one. It goes on their drill batteries, just like this. And well, that does 100 watts, which is still kind of very useful. Absolutely able to power pretty much any of your electronics or your, your smaller and your, your, you know, your battery powered electronics. These are great for, and if you're like me, you have a ton of them because Ryobi does those pretty good sales on them. So with all of that said, what is our solution? Since we have a ton of power already sort of being able to be stored within our Ryobi batteries, I wanted to find something that I could charge the Ryobi batteries with using the sun. So first things first, let's talk solar panel. And this right here is the EBL Solar 100. Uh, I think the regular price on it is $200, but I was able to pick it up off of the good old Amazon uh, for a hundred bucks. It's a hundred watt uh, panel. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty universal. That is one of the nice things that, uh, that it has is on the back right here, there's a nice little pouch and it comes with all sorts of adapters to fit all sorts of inverters, uh, solar generators, things like that. And that's why I really like this one because it means there's flexibility built into it. You're not, not locked in to any one system. And that, my friends, is really important because you want the flexibility, right? You want to be able to use, uh, to, you want to be able to, to use what you want and be able to change things if things aren't working out. Beyond that, it's a very basic system. Um, there's only sort of one set of adjustment for it. If you look right here on the back, we have these little panels right here. This comes up at a 45 degree angle. You kind of set the solar panel out and it rests like that. There's no multiple angles of adjustment on this one. It is just like this. I think it's a very basic uh, solar panel, but it was one of the cheapest ones I could find that also has that universal capability that is plug and play. And that's the other thing I really like. I want something that's plug and play. Yes, I could get the soldering iron out. Yes, I can go do that stuff, but I'll be honest, I am not that handy. Like, I would love to, to, to be that handy with electricity. Electricity, not one of the things that just automatically converts up in my head. So uh, this was the first thing I wanted, uh, something that was easy, able to be uh, plugged in here and there and use all sorts of different inverters. And speaking of inverters, that brings us to <laughs> this little guy right here. It, it is tiny, like it is so much smaller than any of the other solar uh, generators I've seen out there. And that's really nice too, because uh, if you're someone who's like a backpacker or a camper, uh, this is a lot easier to tote around uh, if you're not like car camping or something like that. So what is this? This is the Maribo 88 watt hour portable par power station. Um, and it is pretty much everything I needed and nothing I didn't need. I picked it up for $75. Uh, I think it's regular retail price is hundred bucks. I think basically what Amazon was doing, a lot of these companies were doing for Florida. It was a tax-free weekend for our hurricane season. So they were extra discounting things to try to get people to purchase things. So this is, I picked this thing up for 75 bucks um, and it is everything I need. Um, it has two 110 outlets on top. If I recall correctly, this can go up to 100 watts. So this is kind of where we are saving that cost from uh, compared to the, the larger systems like the Jack. Remember that one was uh, 500 watts. This one's only 100 watts. But for me, I don't think we really need it because 100 watt or 88 watts sustained 100 watts peak is all we need to charge the Ryobi batteries. It's all we need to use to charge our other batteries, which means, well, uh, all I need to do is plug the good old uh, solar panels into the plug right there, then turn it on, put the Ryobi battery up here and start charging. And then I get free power to sort of charge all of my devices. And that's exactly uh, what we did. So 
For the total cost of $225, which I think is a pretty good deal uh, compared to $800, I think I'm well on the way to uh, making a sort of solar, a solar charging method, solar power method that doesn't break the bank. Now you may be saying, Tommy, but what happens if uh, I don't have those things back there? That's that's right. Um, those can usually be picked up for anywhere between 50 and 80 bucks. And the batteries, you can go ahead and the, the Ryobi batteries, they de do tend to be expensive. But if you're someone like me who already has them lying around because you use them for other things, that is sort of the best of both worlds. Um, I'm a big proponent, like if you, if you think about the whole uh, three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, um, you know, I, I like things that do multiple tasks. And um, yes, the Jackeries out there have, you know, a better inverter and they have um, maybe more battery life within them in the, in the standalone unit. But do you need that battery sitting around in your house not doing anything for 99.9% .9 of its life? Probably not. Um, here, I'm using the batteries that I use every single week, day in and day out, uh, and then I'm getting more use out of them and I am extending their usefulness, which to me, that seems to be the smarter play. But, you know, that's my situation. I don't know about your situation, but that is everything. Like I said, uh, I think this is a great solution for, for people looking for a bargain way to get into a solar generator and also a very modular way to be able to expand out into things you need. Of course, there's gonna be DIY solutions that are probably cheaper and also uh, you know, a bit more flexible, but you're gonna need a lot more technical know-how. I like the plug and playness of this. And, I'm, and of course, if you're willing to spend the money on those more expensive systems, those are going to be uh, you know, a lot easier, but I think this is a nice middle ground. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.